things to be concerned about definitely yeah i'll get my thoughts on it like with Please. with the other side i'm not i'm not as bullish long 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 term i'm very very bullish long long term like i i would love to buy a lot of a coin at a dollar to five dollars whatever flip at 10 to 20 bucks, whatever it ends up being. I'm not bullish on holding to a potential like $100 ape coin because I just don't know if people are going to choose ape, the, the uh, other side as the metaverse. Where then, if they do, then I'll be kicking myself because that coin will be worth, you know, hundreds of dollars, whatever, and I'll be taking a massive L. But I just don't know. Like, I just don't think that, I just don't, I don't think that the Board Ape Yacht Club brand is, is strong enough. I really don't. I see way too many civil wars happening in their comment sections every single time something happens that everyone's not excited about. When they're not being airdropped money for free, they're mad. And it's really annoying. And I don't think that it's brand very is very exciting, strong. Exciting, not getting it's, money for free. It's, 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 <laughs> it's just very... it's stupid. And I just don't think they have much else from their identity side. They're, they they always say, we're about the, we're about I, the I swamp. Agree. We're about this and that. And I'm like, no, I don't think you are. I think you were. But I think you got too far down the line of buying into celebrities and getting hyped up people. And I think when you go down that path too far, it becomes too far out of reach. And who's going to play in the other side meta metaverse, except for boy, Biakla people. I just don't know. So it depends. It depends. It, it, they have said they're going to make it completely um, inclusive. And if they do, I think that this whole, you know, you've got people who love board apes and you've got people who hate board apes. That's it. There's no in-between. Yeah. There's no one that really doesn't mind them, right? And you do have those two different camps. And it's always been like that. And that actually fuels the brand. That's number one. Number two, a healthy family, right? Say say what they feel. You know, it, it, let's not pretend, fuck you, I disagree, ApeCoin shouldn't have the DAO elected by them. They say what they feel. They get it off their chest. They say it publicly. They don't care. And then they go and hug and make up and carry on. So, you know, the fact that you mm. seeing people disagreeing in public and speaking their mind could also be a sign of just a healthy, a healthy ecosystem. It's not like everyone's trying to fit in and scared to say what it, they feel. It would feel. be healthy if all of them didn't come from, a, from like an entitled perspective when they complain about it. It's so a this very is where it comes feeling. people who like apes and people who don't. Listen, I, I, I've I, got nothing to, uh, like as far <laughs> as being in that Discord. I've got a yeah. mutant and a, and a kennel club, but I've never actually spent time in any Discords a lot of mm. time because I just, I don't, except for my very first project or where I bought NFTs and then started working in it or when I've been community manager in projects. Other than that, I don't, unfortunately, I'd love to hang out, but I don't hang out yeah. in Discords. Um, and I don't really care who has apes or who not. I mean, you just have to look at the OpenSea's top trending um, collections true, at true. any point of time. And the top within the top 15, five of them are Yuga Labs, whether it be CryptoPunks, MeBits, Board Ape, Kennel Club, But it's within Mutants. this niche, right? It's within while NFTs are so niche and culty, right? Where there's only like a, a 1.0001% of, of Earth is like in NFTs right now, right? So because of that, when the metaverse becomes a thing and people are choosing which metaverse to jump into or whatever it ends up being at that point, there will be hundreds of millions of people potentially going to be in it. So when the hundreds of millions, or not, not, yeah, when the, sorry, when the millions of people come into the world of metaverse stuff, right? At that point, will Yuga still be at that level for the normal person or will it only well, be no number one, one for us, you know? No, and I, that's, no, that's I why my bet is no it stops. Knows. No one knows, but I know. I don't know that it will stop. I don't know that it will even start. I mean, we don't even know sure. if we're going to get a proper metaverse. However, if you're saying, okay, where is the metaverse going to be mass adopted? You, you would need to start in a Web3 community because we are more like amenable to being in a metaverse. And you know, guys who are interested in NFTs are more likely to go into a metaverse than a guy that's just sitting on the internet all day and has never bought NFTs, has never been to the sandbox, has never heard of Decentraland or anything like that. So you're saying, okay, how do we get the most amount of people to initially be in a metaverse and experience it? You want to do it through a community like an NFT community. Who's the best one to do it? The biggest, the, the most successful, which is Yuga, and they've got the biggest budget to do it. So I think as far as saying, okay, who's got the best chance of actually making something that's really uh, valuable and nice to be in and also guaranteeing that you'll have a couple thousand people in there at any stage, I would look to NFTs and then I'd say who's the biggest NFT and that's your best chance to, in the initial stages of getting it there. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. There's, there's, I mean, there's, 
there's so many different avenues you could go and in 10 years we don't know who will be here like a, a random like microsoft could jump in and say fuck it we change our mind we're going to take charge and they could be the ones who build out the metaverse and if that happens then it's not going to matter which nft you hold um and it just depends we don't know what i think is crazy is people who actually think the metaverse won't come that's fucking nuts. That is that's beyond me how people don't think that'll happen because we're in a world right now where we already live 90% of our life in our head and then 75% of the stuff in our head stems from things on social media. So the fact that we think in 100 years, 200 years, a technology driven world is not going to move into a world where we can spend a larger portion of our time in a more developed digital world, which is just a more developed social media, which will just inevitably, because technology exists, we will always move into something more innovative. That to me is crazy. Now, whether or not NFTs trading these PFPs will be a thing, I don't know about that. But the fact that people don't think we're gonna move into a metaverse style world is crazy to me. I'm like, guys, 20 years, or no, 15 years ago, we thought we were gonna be having flying cars and stuff. And that kind of thing will happen at some point. But to think we're not going to go more digital than today is crazy to me. I agree. But I don't think that it's going to look like what people think it's going to look like. So what I mean is like the way I picture it is I sort of think any other, like I say, anything that I'm doing on the internet at the moment for leisure, like not for work, anything I'm doing on the internet at the moment, I'm going to do, have a better experience. It's going to be more virtual, more 3D. So for example, if I go um, to Nike.com and I buy a hoodie, and now I'm going on the internet, I'm typing Nike.com and I'm buying a hoodie. Here, I imagine it that I'd still go to like an internet, so it doesn't have to be a single metaverse, I'd still go to Google be able to type Nike, and then I'd have an option to be able to walk around the Nike store virtually, that mm. particular website that I'm on, and potentially try things on and look at it with VR glasses. And yep. then once I bought my hoodie online, I would then go out of that and carry on. So it's the same way if I went online shopping for groceries. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I would be able to virtually push a, a, a cart or I wouldn't even need a cart, walk down an aisle and pick what I want and look at it and, you know, potentially, you know, that, that's how I see it. So I, I don't really see it as a, yes, so I spend 20 minutes a day just checking Facebook to see, because I'm old school, to see if anyone, any family or friends has had a birthday or whatever, I spend maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes max a day checking Facebook. Okay, now I would go into the Facebook metaverse and I'd be able to check my messages like that and, oh, it's Kate's birthday. I could then DM him and actually see him face to face, happy birthday, my brother, and move out. But I don't see it as being one place. I see it as being just like you go to a different website for what you need, you, so too here. So the most exciting and the most obvious to me, if, if, if the way I perceive it is, is anything correct, would be Google. Google, mm. Google are the guys Probably. who will do it. Because now, they easy transition from them. They are the, that's where everyone checks for everything. Sure. So they will be that. Now, then you, if you start thinking about it like that, you then think, okay, hold on. These guys have been mapping the world for the last 15 years. They, they've been making 3D renders. I reckon they are quietly building the complete metaverse that you can literally go on Google, same way you do, and maybe not type, but literally say, okay, I want to see, you know, sure. India. Yep. And literally yep, yep. with your VR glasses, they've already, they're busy mapping the world, bro. That's not a mistake. I so I think, I think for, fuck Yuga, fuck uh, uh, Sam. <laughs> Maybe they'll buy Yuga. Me, they might buy Yuga or own yeah, them at fine. some point. Uh, Facebook, or none of it matters. Google. True. Google are the guys. And and they, and, and I'm, I have no doubt that they're working. I mean, I don't have any insight on it. It just makes sense because that is the hub that everyone goes to for information. So that's where everyone would be. If if a metaverse had to launch tomorrow that was successful, it would have to be Google. I agree. And let me build on that even further because the world that you were talking about that you don't think will move into like a, maybe like a Ready Player One, here's my rebuttal to that. In 20 years or something, when, that, when the metaverse like that could potentially be possible, 20 to 50 years, right? The people who are participating are, are nine years old right now. They are growing up with social media. They're growing up with all this stuff. They're used to NFTs already. They're trading NFTs in middle school, probably, or high school or whatever, right? But they're going to be the ones who are middle age 
building this stuff because they're working in the industry because all they've seen online is, oh, I can work in this world. I don't have to do this kind of stupid thing. I can I can do this working in innovation. And I think everyone wants to work in innovation if they can because it's interesting and it's fun. And I think all these kids that grow up playing these video games, I think at some point we have to, I mean, maybe it'll start how you were talking about where it'll just be like you go into these different websites, but it's like a little virtual experience. And I think that just goes quick and like innovation triples and, or like whatever the numbers are, like triples every seven years or whatever. And I think we go into this world where it's like, wow, this is really cool. I can go into Nike.com, but I can see everything like as if I'm actually there. And then like two years later, it's like, oh, Nike opens up its little playground area. And then we just like quickly move into stuff because it gets commercialized immediately. And then someone wants to be the number one. So they're all working really hard. And I think that just gets pumped fucking money. And I think, I think before I'm dead, at least I hope I'm 20 something. I think we'll be living in a very fucking Ray player one style of world. Maybe not that level, but I think we'll be in that kind of thing. That's just my thought. Yeah, I th listen, I think the guy who at the moment, and uh, forget where you work, at the moment spends his leisure time online, will spend his leisure time in the metaverse in 10, 15, 20 years. Someone who loves hiking and walking and is outdoors, and that's what he does mm -hmm. with his leisure time, will still be doing that outdoors. I don't yep. think like it's, you know, the whole everything. But yeah, I mean, you know, this is the internet of the future. In some form, yeah, and that's, that's why I'm so, so that's why I'm so bullish on Google, even though Google hasn't said anything, <laughs> and there's no Google yeah, when NFT, Google but, NFTs, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That and, dude, yeah. what do you think? The f so say they drop a seven thousand collection, seven 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 seven. Google drops a seven 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 collection. What does that in a mint for zero point zero eight ETH? Because they hired us to make sure they don't make any mistakes. Google drops a collection of seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven. What does that floor go to? A Google NFT? Does that get flipping? It depends on that? the. It, it, it depends. Uh, typically, I'll hold it, but it does depend on the roadmap. If they're going to build a metaverse, is, is, bro, they're building right, the whole then, metaverse. Then, first of all, they can mint it a lot more than even True. in this market. They can mint True. it a lot more than zero point zero eight. Um, and second of all, <laughs> I'm buying as many as I can because I really believe that. Just yeah. like I believe that um, Nike is almost the perfect fit for avatars in the metaverse and games. Yeah. So too do I believe that Google is the perfect fit for the metaverse. What so percentage of your stock go in? What percentage of your portfolio, 